Hi, my name is Bruce. Today we're going to paint a little winter scene. Starting off with some cobalt blue. And adding a little bit of white to that cobalt blue. Then I'm going to use a cerulean blue. I'll just put it on the top. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white, just a white and nothing else, and I'm going to start at the area where I think the sky is going to meet the ground. I'm going to go across with the white. I'm picking up some of the blue, which is good because we're going to blend. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to blend upwards like so. Just little swirls right across the white and then I'm going to go across. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take white again and I'm going to create a little cloud just by little twirls and I'm going to pull on the bottom. Little cloud and pull on the bottom. And I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to streak the cloud at the bottom or the where the ground is going to meet the sky, or the sky is going to meet the ground. So it's nice and streaky, yet we have a bunch of clouds. In this area, I'm going to take the blue, the darkest blue, and I'm going to add a little red to it, and I'm going to create a mountain, or actually little hills in the background. I'm going to add a little white to bring out those hills. Remember, it's winter time, so what we're looking for is we're looking for lots of snow on the background on these hills. And once this is done, we're going to go to the front and we're going to build some trees. Trees are going to be built with some of the blue and the darkest color that we had and we're going to add a gray to that. And it's going to be a little on the dark side. Like so. And I'm going to go, this is going to be a lake so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the contours of where I want the lake. Just filling it in with color. Like so. Now we're going to come back to that. What we're doing, we're doing what this poem says. I, I thought I'd mention to you, what I do is I usually write a poem and then I paint a picture or vice versa. In this case, uh, I wrote a poem called Contentment, and we have uh, we have an individual that's sitting on the top of the lake. I've sketched him in here, and I have a big tree, and I have a lake in the background, and a foreground is going to be at top of a hill full of snow. And I wrote, sitting upon a snowy hilltop, overlook a frozen lake, beneath a twisted tree, a moment's break did take. So that's what I'm trying to depict, that little bit of contentment that you see in the woods you have an opportunity to go. So I'm just going to touch the background a little bit with white. And I'm going to do the same through here. All this right hand side is going to be covered up. Well, the majority of it anyway. It's going to be covered up. So I'm just going to put little patches all the way through my darkness. Like so. Then we're going to work on the lake and we'll come back and we'll fix up the uh, area that we're working on now. The lake itself, I'm going to take some of the color of the sky and again I'm going to put a little gray in it. 
And I'm going to start the lake. It's almost the same color as the background, except a little bit more blue to it, darker blue. And I'm going to go down to one side, left side, adding a little white, make it nice and dark. Then I'm going to add the color of the sky that was light, the cerulean blue with white. Then I'm just going to add white. Making it nice and wavy looking. I'm going right over it. Don't be shy. We'll put lots of paint if you like. Around this area. Be a little bit more careful because we're going to be putting a face in here. And some clothes. And we can fix whatever is close to that later. Really mush it in. Get lots of paint. The reason why I say get lots of paint because we're going to be blending all this. There we go. Now we're going to blend this color. First we're going to take a nice soft brush and we're going to go downwards like so. To be a little careful around the figure. Now at this part where I can go up like so. Wipe my brush off. And I go over. Like so. Do nice little streaks. Now comes the fun part. You want to take ordinary white. Straight white. I'm taking titanium white. And I'm going to make a streak. Right down the middle. Like that. A little here. And a little there. Then I'm going to blend it again. And that's carried on in the middle, a little bit of whiteness right through the center of where the lake is supposed to be. So now we're going to get into the trees. The trees, we're going to use a color, a blend of green. And we're going to have a dark blue to it with a touch of black. Well, to test it, I'll go in the back side here. Uh, it's coming on very light. We don't want that. So I'll just leave that for a second. I'm going to go back and add more black to it. Or pardon me, more blue to it. And then we'll try it a little bit more. There, that's much darker. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Need a little bit more paint here. Okay, we'll start a tree here. And we'll start another one here. And maybe a little one here. Okay, let's fill them in. Remember, this is going to be a big tree here. They're not going in dark enough, but that's all right. We'll do the tree and then we'll come back. And we'll fix that up. I'm going to put a little bit of ground. And I'm going to pull that ground out into the water. A little bit of ground. Pull it into the water. And 
And we'll come back and highlight that. We'll leave the tree the way it is to start with. And let's make some more trees. Let's start a tree here. And maybe we'll have a nice great big one here. All right, so let's start making some trees. Now while I'm doing that, this, making these little trees, the reason why I do poem, like I said before, is if, so you ever hear writer's block uh, where someone starts writing and they get so far and they stop? Well, I, I find the same thing with painting. And to find subjects, if someone brings me something to paint, that's, that's one thing. To just paint pictures that you think other people might like, you have to have some sort of an idea. So what I do when I get a painter's block, I write a poem. And then I try to fit the mood of that painting to the poem. And what I'm trying to depict here is that nice quiet moment that you find in the woods. So maybe sometime when you're doing a, a painting, if you get stuck or if you, you know, uh, you take a poem. Uh, when I first uh, began painting, I basically uh, went outside and whatever I saw I painted. An old tin can, tree, grass, hump, it doesn't matter what. Anyway, enough of that. We're going to now paint the man. The man, I'm going to start off with a red. I'm going to come back and highlight all those trees. But first I want to get uh, an idea of my color theme going on here. I want a little bit of dark, so I'm just going to add a little bit of blue to that. And the old golden rule, the dark on white and or light and light on dark works here. Okay, let's go back to the red. Now I'm turning this nice red into like a violet, and that's what I've been trying to do. There we go. Nice dark color. Leave that there a bit. Leave that white out, and I'm going to put a little bit of white into my pink or into my red to get like a sort of a pinkish side color to it, and that's what I'm going to put along the outside of the arm. Right, that's enough for the man's jacket. The pants, I'm just going to use a black.
Now in the back side here, I'm going to paint this paint lake nice and black. But to the front, I'm going to add a little white, a little white blue, so that I can define where the front pants is painted and the back is shown through. There we go. So let's do it like so. Put some little highlights through the black pants. There we go. I've noticed there's too much dark down there. So what I'm going to do while I'm right on the spot. Another thing when you're painting, if you find the air, fix it. Uh, don't wait, because what will happen nine times out of ten? You forget about it. So let's put a little lake colors in here a bit. And then we can come back with tree colors if we want. Now the, the uh, shoes or the mucklucks, I'm going to put a uh, yellow ochre. Fairly bright to start with, and then I'm going to highlight it with with white. So let's put a pair of shoes. <laughs> Mucklucks, pardon me. There we go. Uh, put that there and that there. Now we're going to come back with white, and we're going to work on the outline of that uh, muckluck. Well, let's just leave it like that for now. I could put a little bit of darkness in the back again to divide the two. Okay, now let's go to the face. The face itself, I'm going to use a little bit of red, a little bit of red, uh, a little bit of yellow orca and white. Then I'm going to go working on the toque. On the toque, I'm going to put some reddish blue, or pardon me, whitish blue, like so. Then I'm going to put some red on that with white to put a little bit of a design. And now I'm going to put a little white. I could have just put white without the blue. But I wanted the white on there. Let's see if I can get some light. Just wanted that sort of grayish, nice look to it. Yeah, that's good enough for his hat. Let's go into the tree. The tree I'm going to start off with black. Black and a touch of white. Now 
Then I'm going to add white to that, make it more gray. Remember, this is a crooked old tree, according to our poem. And a crooked old tree means the sides are not that are not that smooth. And here I notice I'm going to have to add some lake. So I'm going to take some blue. And I'm going to just just dab down the sides. While I'm on the tree, I'm going to show you something. If you want to push a branch away to the other side of the tree, darken the branch. For example, here's the branch back here. Darken it. Find some nice dark color here. Then take a lighter color and bring your branch over it. You've now created a branch in the back. If you want to do a branch to the side, you basically do the same thing. If you want to have flat branches in the back, that's one thing. But if you want to have a branch that's going into the middle of your tree, plant it back. Like so, and then go back with your lighter color. And drag it into the tree. And that's all there is to it. So let's make some gray. And we'll finish off the front of the tree. Then we'll come back with a little bit of black make a little bit of texture into the tree. Remember, crooked old tree. Another thing that you can use to make a great, great tree is a palette knife. You can use lots of texture, but I thought I'd stick to the brush today. Now the highlights. I'm going to do all these highlights with white. We'll start up now. We'll start off with blue to uh, do the shady side of your tree. That's just the sky color again. While I had the sky color out, remember I said fix it when you see it? I forgot, see, now I'm going to fix it when I see it. There we go. Let's go back. Have a little white that time that's quite all right we can use that go back to the blue though make sure when you're doing a the blue that you leave the darkness of the tree also
And what I'm doing in the front, that's all little bushes. So now let's do some white, just just straight white, nothing else. While I have the white out doing this, another thing, in the lake itself, what we want is reflections. And we also want sort of a movement to that lake. So what I'm going to do is just take white, put little streaks here and there. And that's going to give you like movement into the lake. So let's go back to our highlighting. Now I'm trying to shape the trees as I do this. That's important too. Now comes the fun part. We're going to put a couple trees in here. I'm going to use a brush that's very thin. And I'm going to use the color of the trees, but I'm going to add white to it so that it's almost on the gray side. And we'll put a tree here. Remember when I said most of that is going to disappear? Oh, watch, it's going to disappear. 
and put a little bend to this tree. And we'll go back, put some more. And we'll thicken this tree up a bit. I'm going to get a smaller brush. And we're going to make some branches. Thicker branches, but still. We'll go back to another brush for a smaller. And I want this grayness to show through. I don't want the tree to be dark. Now we're going to add a lot of little branches on the darker side. Now the reason why I'm putting so many branches is because we're going to be covering all these branches up, well the majority of them anyway, with nice white fluffy snow as per our little poem. Our little poem says snow heavy lens. Well that's what we're going to have. Let me read that to you. The quietness charm forest Distant lake, silky soft, snow heavy limbs, winter dressed trees aloft. So that's what we're doing. Now we're going to take blue, the same blue that we use for these trees down here. I'm going to go on one side of the tree and we're going to make the trees rough again. We don't want the trees to be smooth. Make them all rough. Nothing smooth about that tree. And do the same thing on this side. Then on the other side, we're going to add white. Where lots of snow is hitting the tree. And we're going to drag it down and we're going to cause a lot of jaggedness again. Blend these colors. There we go. Make it nice and jagged. Now let's highlight. We're going to go white all through the tree. Now this is going to be exciting because to be quite honest with you, when you got wet on wet, it's not an easy thing to do. So let's try it anyway. We're going to take a small brush. We're going to take a liner brush to start off with. I'm going to take some paint and we'll try in the corner here. That's working. Gonna have to clean your brush quite often, I think. Now, when you're putting on your white, just follow the shape of whatever branch you got and pick up some of that darkness, but wipe your brush each time you do it. Now, I put a lot, I put a little oil in with my paint so that it'll flow, make it nice and bushy. We want lots of snow. And I'm wiping my brush each time.
And while I have the highlights out, I wipe my brush, then I go get some white again. I'm going to follow the tree a bit so you can see the outline of the tree better against the lake. Now we're going to, in this area here, we're going to, in this area here, we're going to go dark and white. So I'm going to take some blue first. I'm going to cover up in this area here where there should be shade of the tree. Blue and white. And I'm going to stop here. I'm going to put a little bit of shade here this in here is white and we're going to put white now on the tree also so let's start a bit on the tree Now let's go for pure white. Hump of snow here. And another bunch of snow here. Maybe there's some snow on the limb a bit. Oh, it's a little stumpy thing. Make it a little bit whiter against the individual. In this area, it's going to be kind of hard to do, but what we want is just white. No. The reason why it's hard to do is because we're working white on white. But that's whiter, so that should work. Little mounds of dirt, or uh, of, of snow. So let's look back at the painting, see if we've missed anything. Let's go from the top. We have the tree. Okay, nope, right off the bat, I think the tree, if it's going to be one of those snowy scenes, I think the tree should have some snow on it. So let's put some snow on the tree. Nice heavy snow. And being that it's a bushy tree, we're going to go a little bit further. We're going to take and put a little bit of darkness up here, like so. Then we're going to highlight that with white to create 
the branches of the big tree. Okay, so let's look at it. The background, the lake's okay, tree's okay, two trees. Let's blend some of this together a little bit, make a little bit of a design to it. When I'm looking at that tree, it doesn't seem to be dark enough, so I'm going to add a little darkness to it here. Just going to pat it with darkness. A little bit of the tree color. And do the same for the other one. So there's your little picture, or your little painting. So let's go see if we went and covered it all. So, sitting upon a snowy hilltop, overlooking a frozen lake, there's your lake, beneath a twisted tree, a moment's break to take. The quietness of the charmed forest and distant lake, silky soft, yes. Snow heavy limbs, all over the place. Winter dressed trees aloft. The magic of winter filled the air with scent perfume of mother nature fragrance of mind's content rare that special moment when contentment touches joy the heart fills with happiness the tranquil takes away the annoy well, there you go contentment after you've done your painting thanks very much and uh, maybe you too will write a poem next time and, and from that poem create a painting have a good day